Adolf Hitler determined to support General Francisco Franco and his Spanish nationalists to achieve power in Spain in 1936 onwards, dispatching sizable military forces alongside Italy to achieve the same. Though officially neutral, Germany and Italy's actions were far from even-handed and designed to create a third European fascist dictatorship friendly to themselves and as anti-communist. The opposing side, the Republicans, received a lot of aid from left-wing sympathizers across Europe, including in the UK and also America, and substantial material and military aid from Stalin, keen to extend Soviet influence into the Iberian Peninsula. The war would drag on with great brutality and loss of life until 1939 and Franco's eventual victory. Germany deployed two of its new heavy cruisers, often termed pocket battleships, to the war in Spain in July 1936, shortly after the outbreak of the Civil War. Deutschland and Admiral Scheer had been built during the Weimar Republic era, the late 1920s, but had come to represent the new German navy of Hitler, the Kriegsmarine. They were modern and well-armed vessels. They were ordered to patrol the Republican-held coast of Spain, helping to evacuate refugees from the fighting and also protecting German ships that were running weapons and supplies to Franco's nationalists. By May 1937, both warships were sitting at anchor at Parma in Mallorca, alongside other neutral warships, including those from the Royal Navy and the Royal Italian Navy. Republican Air Force warplanes launched an attack on Parma, but the combined anti-aircraft fire at the various warships caused the aircraft to break off the assault and withdraw. Escorted by two German torpedo boats, Deutschland moved to Ibiza. This time, an attack by Republican aircraft caused serious damage. Deutschland came under attack by two Tupolev SP-2 bombers, Soviet-built aircraft that were secretly manned by Soviet air crews sent by Stalin to support the Republican cause. But why attack a neutral foreign warship, particularly one from a rapidly expanding military power and a threat to the Soviet Union? Officially, the attack was a case of mistaken identity, rather than an overt act of war. The Soviet pilots misidentified the Deutschland as the Spanish nationalist heavy cruiser Canarias. Two bombs from the two Tupolev aircraft struck the Deutschland. The first went through the upper deck, near the bridge, and detonated above the main armor deck, while the second punctured the deck and exploded close to one of the 15-centimeter gun turrets. Huge fires broke out within the ship. 31 German sailors were killed, while 74 were injured. Overwhelmed with casualties, assistance was sought from other neutral powers. Deutschland weighed anchor and sailed to the nearby British colony of Gibraltar, where the casualties were taken to the local British military hospital for emergency treatment. Of the 55 serious cases admitted, 50 were saved. The work of British military doctors and nurses received the personal praise of Hitler. So impressed was Hitler and the German Navy by the care and consideration given to German sailors by British medics that 37 doctors and nurses were subsequently decorated by the German government, receiving the German Order of the Red Cross, including 20 going to female recipients. King George VI gave his permission for the German medals to be worn by the recipients. Those honours also received award certificates personally signed by Hitler. The dead German sailors received full naval funerals at Gibraltar, though soon after Hitler ordered them exhumed and returned to Germany for reburial. Hitler was not happy about the attack on one of his warships and ordered a retaliatory bombardment of the Spanish port of Almeria. Hitler's reaction caused Stalin to strictly prohibit any air attacks on German or other neutral warships in Spain, perhaps keen not to give fuel to the Nazis who were already well entrenched in their hatred of the Soviet Union and communism. Ironically, just over two years after the attack on the Deutschland, the ship would be sinking British ships in the Atlantic, and the British recipients of the awards would be dread enemies of the Germans. 
Many thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and also visit my video channel, Mark Felton Productions. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.